So I just I'm the actual show activist, but basically um there have been a comparison between GMA shows and ABS CBN ones. And yes, I'm talking about the Philippine networks, two big ones. Oops, I would be talking about TV5, PTV, but let's talk about the two big ones. And um yeah, the very two big ones. The two big ones are ABS-CBN and GMA. Well, ABS-CBN shut down its operations on Channel 2 um, on May the 5th, 2020. And, um, yeah, it was one of the worst years for television. And because of the COVID pandemic that we're still in today. And, um... May 5 was supposedly the worst day for Cabo Media viewers because their franchise expired. And let me tell you what I mean about this. ABS-CBN's franchise expired the day before they shot down. Because, remember this, on May 4th, two channels aired the same program. Yes, we're talking about ABS-CBN, ABS-CBN, oh my god, what am, what am I doing, ABS-CBN, um, basically, uh, they've been both doing the exact same program, they were both broadcasting from uh, PTV, the big one, the big channel 4, and yes, it is a government television channel. Just like CCTV in China and Al Jazeera in Qatar. But but they are actually not an ordinary news channel. They also air some other programs like the PCSO lottery draw. Anyways, there have been such a comparison between the two big ones. Number one. ABS-CBN's group of fans are called Kappa Media. Meanwhile, abs I mean GMAs, both are actually Kapusa. And yes, um, abs and GMA is actually the big ones. They've been actually trying to compete, but just a few days ago, um, basically, they, they decided to host a partnership together. Because just a few days ago, Star Cinema movies were now going on to GMA's program schedule. And yes, this is true because um, it all got broadcasted by the exact same network. Two networks to be exact. Because GTV, or back then, GMA News TV, essentially got the courage to actually broadcast the exact same program um, back then when it got launched. So yeah, uh, it aired the exact same program from GMA, which is 24 Horas, and um, essentially they aired the exact same, letting their viewers know, and yeah, and plus not we're not done yet, cause Q Q T V or Q used to be Zoe TV Channel Eleven. Yes, yes, Zoe. ABS CBN were host was actually hosting a part time agreement that time, so by twenty twenty one, it actually turned off Channel Eleven. Yes, Channel 11 actually was DZOE TV, and Channel 11 was GMAs at the time, but then it got signed off by that year. Um, GMA News TV noticed, they noticed that ABS-CBN was holding off a, a block time agreement with Zoe TV. 
Yes, Zoe TV actually owns two stations. Number one, uh, Channel 11. Yes, Channel 11 was actually owned by Zoe. If I am mistaken, I am actually not that mistaken at all. Because um, that's true. Channel 11 was actually owned by Zoe. And anyways, um, we're not actually done yet. Channel 33, or Light TV, the, that, which used to be Light Network, or Light TV 33, and just Zoe itself. But they gave away two of their channels, because um, essentially, Light TV 33 was launched, and then QTV, powered by GMA. Because, also, I'm going to tell you the exact reason why GMA News TV actually switched off its channel up and signal. Essentially, because, by 2019, they ended their block time agreement with Zoe. And, um, yeah, I... Yeah, excuse for the noise in the background. It's way too loud, I know. It's with my cousins. Anyways, um... Anyways, uh, essentially... Essentially, um, they ended their block time agreement as it expired. And then by 2020, they were holding off a block time agreement. So that's why a few years later... It switched to from DZOE TV channel 11 to DWDB channel il- channel 27. But one year actually after, actually, yeah, because was since that they temporarily signed off because of the COVID pandemic and other stuff. They only broadcasted Double D Sanders TV. Or double B T V right now. Literally and even when the Quatro Horas it would sign off early as it doesn't have any new programs. But it has now new programs. As I'm telling you right now, right here, in the exact same YouTube social media, exact same place. It actually has only two programs that year. It would sign off early. And every time, we had Signal TV at that point. So, so uh, GMA News TV news to only sign off late at night. Like the other big stations. But then it decided to shut off early and until that year. Or, but it switched to um, channel 27. DWDB channel 27. So, yeah, essentially. And there'd been a show which is like, uh, you know, Happy Together and Home Sweet Home. And there's been rumors that um, Happy Together has just copied um, Home Sweet Home. Yeah, that's true. I don't know why those rumors are actually spreading right now. But I actually think that's actually true. But, don't be just mad. I mean, don't take it seriously. Just be quiet. Yeah, anyways. Yeah. And actually, I kind of believe in the rumors. But sometimes I would deny that. Uh, those are just uh, rumors that everybody's talking about it nowadays. And even my, one of my cousins talked about it. Because, like... I don't know. Most likely one of my grandparents actually talked about this. I don't know. Well, most likely somebody talked about all this going on right now on GMA and ABS-CBN. 
And yes, my cousins are all in the background, all in. Not even one is left on the background. So yeah, definitely, um, what's going on on ABS CBN today? Um, on July, on June 13th though, a couple media channel was launched. But only four months after that, HBC was launched on GMA News TV's previous channel slot. And so, that might be it. I might cut some of the video. Alright. Okay, we're not actually done yet. We're not actually done yet at this point. GMA News TV used to be just a news channel. But then at November of 2020, we then change into what the GMA was, a news, sports, and entertainment channel. Those were actually what the GMA was. Like, its main channel that used to be um, RBS 7. Yeah, I know about RBS. I know about those. And yes, GMA really did used to be RBS 7. Until they switched somewhere around the 1960s or something. And, uh, yeah. Basically, um, what happened here was like, essentially, something might have happened here. First up, this has been happening for the past a few years since 2020 and um essentially what's going and uh yeah i don't know i was about to tell you the essential reason but then because gma actually did acquire channel 11 from zoe because it used to be G TV used to be gma news tv and it all used to be QTV, then QTV, then Channel, then Channel V Philippines, and then Zoe itself. Yes, Channel V was bought the Philippines by GMA. Not going to lie. Because it's actually true. And yes, I did find out all this from um from basic item and channel anyways uh, credit for all the saying and anyways uh that all goes to everybody and um yeah what's happening over here is uh gma gtv used to be like uh gma news tv and then it all used to be q QTV, Channel B Philippines, and then Zoe itself. Meanwhile, Light TV, on the other hand, used to be Light Network, Light TV 33, and then Zoe itself. And yes, they did launch Channel 33 on that slot. But I don't think there's like a Channel 1 here, or 2 in Manila. Like, there is in some parts of the Philippines, but not in Manila. I meant Metro Manila. Because um, we live in uh, Metro Manila. But I don't want to show off the city that we're in. Anyways, GMA used to be RBS TV 7. ABS CBN used to be divided. Because um, it really did used to be divided. Auto Broadcasting System was on Channel 3, and then CBN was on Channel 4. They really did used to be in, in competitors. When, but then after they merged, the two companies got together and formed ABS-CBN. Yes, the Kapamilya Network. 
it did start in 1953, but it, I don't think it really did start in 1953, though. It actually started in 1946 at the Bolinao Electronics Corporation. And those were the guys who made television like this, I guess. But let me tell you about martial law. See, when Marcos declared martial law in 1972, um, all the TV networks that wasn't in the Marcos regime shut down. Well, then that was ABS-CBN that got unlucky because they shut down on September 11th. Yes, they really did shut down on September the 11th, 1972. But at least they, but then they got replaced by Manaho Broadcasting Corporation, or BBC2. Anyway, just don't confuse that to the British Corporation, British Broadcasting Corporation 2, or BBC2 as well. Like, I don't know why Manaho got Broadcasting, then British Broadcasting, has the exact same oh name. Like, what the? <laughs> what the? And then, Fiji. And then the Maharlika Broadcasting System. MBS, or Maharlika Broadcasting Corporation System, actually was a PTV itself. BTV he in the past was Maharlika Broadcasting and it was Ma was for Real MBS Channel 4 or back then. But then only until a few years later when they became NBN I mean BTV because BTV is for real Real BTV in the past. I'm not gonna lie, there was also an NBN. Alright, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Oop. Yeah, we don't have any video media left. Alright, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.